Ahoy, mateys! Ahoy! What are we doing now? Roll the intro. gamers yes good morning good morning and welcome back to the world of surviving bedrock and whispercraft season three yes yes y'all may be wondering where we are because this is not isaac's manor's office where we always start our whispercraft videos that's okay we now have a secondary location it is the new yacht it is all built. It is ready. The shape of it is looking great. We are having a phenomenal time. We still have not named it. So I need a name in the comments. I have taken to Twitter, Discord, YouTube. I need a name for this yacht. It needs a name. Otherwise, we will be having bad luck, bad sailing, rough seas, not a good yacht and boating experience. We definitely need a name. So thank you guys so much for everything. I know this yacht took quite a bit of time to build. We're going to step inside the captain's cabin right here. It took a little bit to build, but you know what? It is looking phenomenal. We finished it up on a live stream here last week. Had a great time there and then finished up some more Minecraft dungeons. We'll talk about that later. So thank you all for your support. Thank you for everything. I am really excited about this yacht. So let's take a little bit of a tour of the yacht. We'll start out here at the boathouse as if we are freshly embarking or boarding the yacht. So back here, we have our yacht. We come on board. Quick, man overboard. Someone get a life raft. In our main cabin area, we have a lot to do. More on that to come. But we step upstairs. We have the captain's cabin with couches, tables, books, nautical charts over here. We have the main bridge area where we have our cartography table with all of our maps. Our mug here for some coffee. Controlling our throttle, we have our captain's seat right here. Yes, Captain Isaacs reporting for duty. And I have yet to come up with a good design for the steering wheel or whatever you want to call it. The thing that controls the rudder. We have a little bar lounge area right here. And going upstairs, we have the party deck. We have the loom, which is actually just an empty table there with some more cups. We have the jukebox with surround sound speakers. We are looking good here. And if we make a way all the way up top, we'll see our communications array where we have our antenna and everything else up here looking good. And then if we do step down to the bottom through our little staircase here, this is going to be the main cabin. This is where the sleeping occurs for the owner of said yacht, me. And if we step up these little stairs, we have a jacuzzi hot tub. What yacht is a yacht without a jacuzzi hot tub? It's like against yacht rules. It has to have a jacuzzi on it. And to make sure that no one gets hurt... We have our little slabs here so no one gets hurt in our hot tub because it is kept to a very toasty 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's toasty for hot tub temperatures. Tell me if I'm wrong below. Let's have a little snack here. We got a little burned in the hot tub. But that is it. It is looking well. But we have a little bit of work to do today because as you see here, it is empty. We have our little walls here. I've been playing around with wall designs. I tried this, and after putting it all together, I didn't like it. So we took it down. I have now settled 
on this style of wall. Now, it may look like a giant Hershey's bar. That is okay. That is because we could actually do this and even this on the wall. So where it will look decorated, it will look detailed, it will not look really bad. So we'll have to get that done. And in here, we have our little hidden trap door. We come down here. This is going to be the engine room. I do not know if we're going to get to the engine room today. But we will be putting something down here, whether it be storage or actually try to make some kind of a yacht engine room. I don't know, but we're going to try it. And then after we get all of this done, I am in an interior decorating mood. As you have seen many times in Isaac's Manor, there are several rooms that are well decorated. However, our hallways are bare. They're boring. They're plain. They look horrible! So we are going to fix that today. We are going to continue working in Isaac's Manor. We are going to do a little bit of cleanup, a little bit of interior decorating. Mainly in these hallways, there are a few rooms left that I do need to decorate, such as this room right here. I think this is going to be a laundry room. So now I've got to come up with a way to make a washer and dryer out of Minecraft blocks. This will be hard. So we're going to try to take care of at least one room today in addition to decorating our hallways. But first and foremost, the yacht needs finished and it needs a name. I'm hoping by the end of this episode, we can christen it with a name. So I'm thinking the first room we've got to work on today is we have got to work on a galley, which that is fancy boat person talk for the kitchen. We need a galley in our yacht. We have got to be able to cook our food because we're going to do some fishing off the back. And we, we want cooked fish. You know, I like sushi as much as the next person, but I prefer cooked food. And sometimes there's even going to be steak on this yacht. Oh, yeah, see? Steak. Cooked beef. Another word for steak. Okay, so we need to figure it out. So rather than wall it all off and try to figure out and make things fit, I'm going to find a good place to actually put the galley, and then we will go there. We have someone who just joined. Oh, it's Phoenix. Hey, Phoenix, if I can spell his name today. So we have some kitchen stuff to put down. We definitely need a couple smokers. So I'm thinking I'm going to put a smoker there and a smoker there. And then on top of it, we're going to have a double oven there. Boom, that way it looks good. Over here to the side, we are definitely, definitely going to want a cauldron. Now, in between there, I have been enjoying the look of stripped birch as an actual, like, cutting table. There we go, and voila! Cutting table! Chop, 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 chop. There was my sword. Chop, 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 chop. There we go, cutting our food, put it in there. Booyah! We are good to go. I'm going to do a couple more pieces of said stripped birch. Now, I don't think it's going to let me place... Yeah, it will let me do it there. However, that means we see this nasty end piece. I don't like it. I don't like the end piece. It looks really nasty. So we have actually done a couple pieces of the birch wood that will strip. That way you see an equal end piece or equal side texture all the way around. That is a little expensive to do it, but it's okay. I did me a lot of tree farming over there earlier today. So we got some wood to play with here. So this is looking really good. We got our little sink, which a sink is not a sink without water in it. And we have lots of water around us. We're just going to go grab, boom. And we're going to come back in here, filling up our sink like, boom. Oh yeah, we are bosses. Got this going. So our kitchen is looking good. So you're wondering, how do I make trapdoors do this? Well, it's really not that difficult once you've figured out how to make it do it. As long as you have the trapdoors in your inventory, it's really easy. Where'd they go? Where'd all those trapdoors go? There they are. We need these. So, the thing about trapdoors and how you can put item frames on them, or pictures, paintings on them, they have to be on the back side of the trap door. So, see, this is the front side that opens down. If I try to put a painting there, it's like floating in midair. Cool. Don't get me wrong. That is pretty neat. And technically, we could make that a wall. 
we could do that and then just wall this whole thing off like so. Because I think I could even. Can I? I could. I could do that. You would never know, but I don't know if I like that. That is an idea we will put a pin in. We will play around with that one a little later. But the main idea is on the back side of a trapdoor, you can put this. Now, to make it actually look right, you need to have some placeholder blocks. So we put a block, a block right there, a block right there, crouch place, boom, we got a painting. Looks really good there. May not be the right one for that for this area, but you get the idea. On the back of a trap door, you can do that. And if you ever open the trap door, it's there. The nice thing is, when you left click on the painting, it will not open. Or left trigger, right click, depending if you're console or PC player. I'm a PC player, but with a controller. Mind equals blown. Yes. So we are going to do this. So you see how this is there? I'm going to leave this little area empty. Maybe we'll figure something else to put there. I have not quite figured it out yet, but we will figure something to put there. So let's focus on what we can do. Let's focus on these trap doors. So we need to crouch place three, because that is how everything is here in threes. The reason I want these to be like this is so now I can place a painting something to decorate it now this part's going to be tricky I don't quite know how I'm gonna pull this one off hmm because I don't want this back anymore I want to have a little bit of space in here let me see how this looks let's do a little bit of on-camera experimentation here that's what a lot of today's episode is going to be so I can't place it here can I place, I can place it here, and then I can place it here. So we got a little bit of depth of field there, but this is a tight kitchen. I'm not liking this. I want the blocks to be back out how they were. I need the kitchen wall to be out at least that far. So in this particular instance, we might actually have to place some kind of a block here to, sh to so I could do that. Because the kitchen is not going to be too big. Kitchens in yachts or boats are usually rather small. And then we're going to do this, this, this. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And boom! That was a big boom right there. Then I'm going to remember that I don't have any dark oak slabs on me. Go grab those dark oak slabs. And then we are going to place them like so, just like that. Remember to leave a gap, otherwise we won't be able to get into our galley. And the reason I'm doing this is this is already a tight enough space. I don't want to make it any tighter. So this makes things look really well. I got plenty of room in my galley kitchen right here. The only thing I have not figured out is this, so I will have to figure something out. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? The easiest thing to do is this. I mean, at least what makes the most sense. I could just take the whole galley down that way. I do you know what? That's not a bad idea. Ah, no, no. Block down, block down. Block back. We're good. There we go. We're just going to have a slightly larger kitchen than initially anticipated. Oh, do it from the right side, though. Yes, this is a rather expensive wall because trapdoors are not the cheapest thing in the world to make. There we go. That is a good looking kitchen right there. So we're going to do one, two, three. This is a placeholder. Actually, yes, I do want that. I want this one to be a little bit different so it designates where the actual entryway to the kitchen is. And you know what? I'm thinking... We're going to have a double entryway. We're going to have one here, and we are going to have one here. Come back to this one. And the only reason I'm doing that is so I could place that trap door at the top, pull the bottom two out, and then we have doors, and then we do this. Looks nice and flush. Got the little spot there to designate it. But then I'm a little crammed until I come in and do that. And I can't do pressure plates on this, otherwise it'll be a pain. So the options are this. Or this. Now over here, I think I could get away with that one. 
although it's opening the wrong way. There we go. That way I can get away with. But over here, it's a little on the cram side. I don't know. I think I actually did like it the other way. Let's do it this way. There we go. Whoa, not there we go. What are you doing, door? There we go, that's what I wanted right there. Boom. This way they are asymmetric, they're opposites right there. Basically open parallel and perpendicular, whichever one of those fancy geometric phrases you want to use. So we have this. Now we need some light. Y'all know kitchens. They often have these fluorescent lights across the top. Now, if I recall, we can place these on. There we go. And we're rocking it, rocking it. Okay, I am thinking we're going to do it to right there. Hmm, I didn't like that. I did not like it. Yeah, that's not looking good either. Hmm. The only other alternative... I'm gonna get some sea lanterns. I think I got st still got some out here. Oh, loads of them. Fantastic. We are gonna go down into the engine room where I just broke that block. And we are going to put this back. Put that there. Now let's see how well it lit up. And how well it stays lit up. When I put the... There we go. That does pretty good. That does really good, actually. I'm going to place another one two blocks in. There we are. Now we got some nice lights. That one is still coming in from above, which I'm okay with. So there we go. Our kitchen is done. Now let's get some of the paintings. Let's do a little bit of decor. Put these out here. Where is that cobblestone? Just to block some things off. Okay, so we need to put a painting here. As cool as that looks. No. I am thinking we are going to put... Let's just try there and there. I don't like the two tall, the one by two paintings, mainly because there's only two options. There. Now let's try this. Dang it! Can't put one there. Isn't that the one that was over here? Yeah, no, don't like it. There we go. That kind of makes more sense. I like that. There we are. We're looking better. We are looking much better. Ooh, I'm starting to realize I'm off center. Dang it. I had the perfect painting right there, too. There we go. I think we're good there. But now we do have to move a door. Get rid of all these temporary block holders right there. Oh, man. Which, that was perfect, too. Dang it. Because I don't like the two. And then, yeah, no bueno. The one and then the two. Yeah, I don't know. I think we can live without it being symmetrical. I think we can do that. What do you guys think? Do you think we can do that? I think we can do that. I think we can put another painting right there. I like that. I like that. And then we are going to get, where's our item frames? We're going to do this one right there. We'll do one right there. And in there, I don't know what we'll put yet. Probably something to do with food. So you see how we got this going. This is a good looking part of the build. It blends in very well with the floor. Sadly, I wish I did not have that part of it, but I've already done all the floor in dark oak. One, I'm not redoing it all. Two, there's only a couple trap doors, or three trap doors of all the wood types that actually have a full face to it. Dark oak, spruce, and birch. I've already used birch for my door, so I don't want to use that mixing in with that. I didn't want to use an oak door, and the dark oak doors are being reserved for the master suite of this yacht. So I'm kind of left with process of elimination, and this is what I've got left. If you think something could be done differently, shoot me a tweet. Remember, at St. Isaacs on Twitter. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this. I'm going to get back to work doing a little bit more of this walling off, and I will be right back when I got a little bit more progress done. And uh, a couple seconds for you all later, but many hours for me, we have a lot done. Let's take a look at it and see what you guys think. So we come in. We have our galley kitchen that we'd already talked about. I did put a barrel in here for a little bit of food storage. Got that done. And then we even have another door. This leads into the dining area because this is a yacht, kind of a big old house 
on the water. So we got that, got a little dining area here. And then you notice this area, we have another small bedroom with a little chest and some flowers and paintings. It's looking nice and detailed here. But then the Coupe de Grace, we have the master suite with a big old bed right over here. We got some crafting benches and some barrels. For <laughs> I don't know why, but every TV we turn on is watching Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. That's just what's always on. So we got that going on, looking really good. I like the carpet right here. It looks really nice. I could bring another layer in, but I kind of liked it stopping right there. We do have a couple of little seats, couches going on, and I did bring one right here as well, just for a little bit of chillaxing and everything. Might even put a little table here. But all in all, I am happy with the way this yacht has come together. I may work on it a little bit more later on, but I think it is time we worked on the main manor house. Let's go take a look at what we can do in there. So when decorating the inside of a house, you have a lot to contend with. And there's only so much you can do with regular paintings like this. So you've got to try some different things and get a little creative. With me, I like trap doors. And I will say I get that from Pixel Rips because, and from any other YouTuber I've watched, because trap doors are a fantastic accent. And since I've used a lot of dark oak and spruce in this build, the darker trap doors just seem to make more sense. Now, when it comes to this giant painting right here, I'm not gonna outline the whole thing in trap doors, but what I am going to do is let's see here i'm thinking i can't put rails on the side i don't want to do walls what do i want i know there's something i want to put there where is what i'm thinking of i that is where a lot of this is going to come into play is you've just got to try some things where are they there they are iron bars let's get these going up here let's try like right there right there and then where are the trusty lanterns we need some lanterns up here do to do we're gonna find us some lanterns where would i have put them i don't know but i'm gonna grab a couple more iron ingots or iron ingots turn them into iron nuggets and here we go a lot of this would be a little bit better if i had there we go oh that's gonna look good i like that Yes, that looks really good. That I like. I like that a lot. So here we go. And then over the kitchen area. See, we're going to put, like, where I have these white blocks, we're actually going to end up not doing a two-by-two two painting. We are going to block those off. Boom, boom. There we go. I like it. And we're going to do that over the other one as well. Boom, boom. I like it a lot. And on these, because they are already outlined at the bottom with some glass, I'm not going to outline with trap doors. I'm just going to let them be. I don't know what I'm going to do over on this wall, because I could do another giant painting. However, there's not very many paintings. That is reserved for the ballroom. No, I don't know what I'm going to do there. I'm going to leave that there. I'm getting some more inspiration as we go along. There we go. But I think this is looking well already. And I do want to put a couple larger paintings over here. Uh, not that one, definitely. There we go. Actually, no, I'm going to do multiple small paintings. Sometimes multiple smaller paintings will look much better than larger paintings. Like that, and then like that. Now remember, this is the bar lounge area, so we're going to get a whole bunch of these blocks back. I'm going to put a painting right there. Nah, not that one. There we go, I'll do that one. And then I am going to stagger it a little bit with a painting right there. I like it. I'm going to do a painting. No, I'm okay with that. Then I'm going to go back up again, just so as I want it to be right there. So we're going to do block, 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 block. Then right here, so let's see, block, 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 and block. It's not the same one, is it? Nope, not, not the same one. There we go. And then there was one, just one, so it was right there. So we're going to do this, 
this, that. Not the same one as I, I already have that one. Need a different one. Let's see how this looks when I take out all these blocks now. There we go. That looks pretty good. And now to actually mix it in a little bit, we are going to do a block, 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 double painting there. And we are going to do a, do, do, there we go. There we go. Now this is looking pretty good. Actually, I want to get rid of that painting. And I do want to move that one over. There we go. Lots of good art there. This is looking really good. I like it. It's kind of scattered. It is a little bit random. And then I am thinking we are going to do another bit of the lanterns on either side of the actual door. One block up right there. I need two more lanterns. Hopefully if you're using lanterns like this, you have a villager that trades them to you. There we go. This hallway now looks like it's getting to be a little bit more and more complete. I like it. It's getting filled up. We are going to throw some trap doors around here. I haven't decided where yet, though. I am thinking right there. I like it. It's coming along nicely. But I've got nothing going on up top. And I need to because those are bottom half slabs. I think I need to put a painting... Not that one. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Let's throw another one right there. That looks great. I like it. It came out perfect. Looking much better. We'll definitely do something over here. Don't know what yet, but we'll definitely do something there. But so far, our hallway is coming together a lot nicer. It looks more complete. It looks finished. It doesn't look boring and plain anymore. Got a lot more of this to do. Thank goodness I have a lot of wool and a fantastic tree farm out here to get all the sticks. But I am going to get a little bit more of this done, and I will bring you guys back when I have more to show. Thanks so much, everybody. And welcome back. Welcome back. We have got quite a bit done. You can kind of see behind me. We laid a whole bunch of carpet on the floor, and I was able to keep to a pretty decent pattern going along the whole way. Even doing some curves back over this way and over this way. Down here, the carpet had to run its course, though, because it's no longer a three-wide hallway. It's only a two-wide, so that's okay. But let's go to the other end, and we'll check out how we finished in this hallway. Still have a little bit of work to do around the kitchen, but I am getting a little bit tired, and this video is getting a little on the long side. But you see the carpet's doing well. It's kind of just going crazy in here. It's... I kind of like it. It's a little cuckoo. But then we got some more. We got a little smooth quartz table. And finally, I have realized the difference between quartz and smooth quartz. Quartz, you'll have a little bit of a breakup line between the two blocks. Smooth quartz, you don't. So I guess that's a new something learned today. Then we got some more paintings put up there, some more wall decorations. Got a lot to do. I never expected to finish it all in this episode, but it is coming together nicely. I am very happy with the way this is going. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching me today, joining me today with some decorating of the yacht and of Isaac's Manor. Do not forget, drop a comment down below. What should we name the yacht? What are we going to name the yacht? I have no idea. Be sure to hit the like button on this episode if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more from Surviving Bedrock and Whispercraft Season 3 from St. Isaacs. Do not forget, I do stream every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays over on Twitch. This week we are going to finish Minecraft Dungeons on the Apocalypse difficulty. The Apocalypse is upon us. Repent, repent! And then have some fun. We are going to get this whole thing done, and then... We'll see what is checking out next week. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I dropped a comment in there asking what game would you all like to see played next. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. This is St. Isaac signing off. Bye-bye.